And when I heard this story, I thought, what a fantastic sculpture for me. I mean, really, just absolutely perfect. So, uh, I made this work. I did it. And, uh... <laughs> frankly, uh, I think that, uh, frankly, this uh, accusation uh, that's levelled against the dealers uh, that, that they uh, are responsible for shaping the art market is a, is a very silly one. Naturally, we are, we are there to do this job and we are doing it. Now, if people, uh, ourselves, and the critics, and the museums, uh, go along with us, then there is a consensus there, and therefore we are right and not wrong. So I think that uh, what, what we are doing is merely doing our job. I want to know if artists have any chance of being up there where the decisions are made instead of having to go through you to the Rockefellers from now on. You know, Sarah, that you have to go to the brother Rockefeller in order to get your job. You know that? It's amazing. You know that. Artists. You have Always complain. <laughs> which have interested me in, in painting and in thinking uh, are the things, uh, I will first tell lies here, yeah, but are the things which can't be located or are the things which turn into something else while you locate them or are things which are located so nicely that you know they can't survive. But it's never interested me just the idea of forming uh, a territory uh, or a, a thought and, and defending it. So 
just down to 42nd Street and Broadway. I said, what are we going to do there? He said, I want to take pictures of you. And for what? He said, for the portrait. I said, in those things? I said, my God, I'll look terrible. He said, don't worry. And he took out, he had coins, about $100 worth of silver coins. And stuff. He said, we'll take the high key and the low key, and I'll push you inside, and you watch the little red light. Oh, these automatic, the automatic. Yeah, they uh, make me do the passport, yeah. the three, four quarters, something like that.